In this short video, I will highlight the new features that were introduced in version 3.1 of the PowerPoint inking toolbar. A previous video about version 2.4 of the toolbar is available if you are interested in the basic functions and in installing this program. And another video about version 3.0 describes some of the more recent features. As summarized on this slide, six new buttons have been introduced in version 3.1 of the toolbar. All these functions were introduced as a result of requests from users of the program. A function that was requested often by users was to introduce a color picker function. In version 3.1 of the program, there are now two different color picker functions. A first color picker function allows you to pick the color of the pen among a list of pre-selected colors. For example, if I click on this new button here, a panel with different colors shows up and I can select any of these colors so that I can use them for the annotation pen. If we go back to this panel, you can see that a variety of colors have been made available to the user. Also the most common colors have been added on this right side. And whenever you select a color among all these colors here, they get added on the right side here so that you can reuse them easily. A different type of color picker was also added, which allows you to copy a color on a slide and then use it for the pen annotation tool. As you can see, there's an eyedropper icon here. When I click this button, the next time I click on the slide, it's going to copy the color where I click, which then allows you to use the pen to, for example, make corrections on a drawing. You can still use all the other pen colors that are available on the toolbar. And then if you ever want to reuse a color that you copied before, there are two ways to do it. Whenever you click the eyedropper button, it switches to the previous color that was copied, so that if you click on it again, you're going to go back and copy this color again. Alternatively, whenever you use the eyedropper button, the color that you copy gets added on the right side of the color panel, so that you can always reuse it very easily if you need it later on. Another function that was often requested by users was to add countdown timers that can be used in timed questions. There are now two different types of countdown timers in version 3.1 of the toolbar. If you need to use a countdown timer that always has the same start time on it, you can use the first type of timer for which the starting time is set in the program's options. For example, I have set this timer to start with a two minute countdown that I can start at any time, pause, I can reset it, restart any time I want. I can also move this timer around by grabbing the numbers. The second type of timer is one where you can adjust the time before you use it. For example, I can click on this button and then there's a timer that appears with adjustable time. As you can see, there are different buttons at the top of the timer that allow me to add more time on the timer. For example, I can add 5 seconds, 10 seconds, 30 seconds. And if I right click on any of the buttons, it's actually going to remove this time. So now if I remove 30 seconds, I'm down to 15 seconds. And whenever I'm ready, I can just click start for the timer to start. Again, I can move this timer around, I can pause it, I can stop it, then can hide it. Everything about these countdown timers, including the color, the size, and the starting time, can be modified in the settings of the toolbar. Lastly, two more buttons were added to the toolbar. Two of the most useful buttons of the original toolbar were buttons that allowed adding either white or black new slides during a slideshow that it can be used as either whiteboard or blackboard. I can demonstrate here. 
here's a button that allows adding a completely new white page during a slideshow. Here's a button that allows adding completely black page during a slideshow. And then it can be used as some kind of blackboard. In this new version of the program, I've added two more similar buttons. One button allows you to add a slide of a user-defined color so that you can use any background color for your draft board. For example, I've set the aqua color for this one here. And another new button that allows you to insert a new slide during the slideshow. But this slide now has a picture background that can be defined by the user in the two-part setting.